This is our last mass here at the Grotto of Our Lady of Lourdes. How I wish we could stay here a bit longer. It's so nice to be here in front of Our Lady, where she appeared to St. Bernadette for at least 18 times in the year 1858. Coming here to Lourdes is always a life-changing experience. It's always an opportunity not just to witness uh, a miracle or to ask for a miracle of healing for ourselves or for our loved ones. Yes, Lourdes is oftentimes associated with healing. And indeed, it is. I have seen with my own eyes and I have heard many stories of people who come here to Lourdes and receive the miracle of healing, the grace of being liberated, freed from their sickness, both bodily and mentally and even spiritually. Here in Lourdes, we also experience many conversions, conversions of sinners. There is always the availability of the sacrament of reconciliation or confession. There are always priests available speaking in different languages to accommodate everyone who comes from different countries. There is also a daily Eucharistic procession which goes around the shrine. And again, in this place of the sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes, you feel the love of, and mercy of God, the forgiveness that God gives us, all of us sinners. Another feature of Our Lady of Lourdes is the Holy Rosary. In the apparitions, Bernadette was always praying the Rosary, and it was even the Blessed Mother who taught her how to pray the Holy Rosary, how to make the sign of the cross, And in the image of Our Lady of Lourdes, it's not only that she's wearing white or that she has a blue girdle, that she has roses on her feet. She was also holding always a rosary, a pearl rosary, in fact. Our Lady of Lourdes, like the apparition in Fatima, which we will soon visit, is... Mama Mary teaching us how to pray the Rosary. And the Holy Rosary is not just a Marian prayer. So it's not a self-serving prayer of Mama Mary. In fact, the Holy Rosary is a prayer of Christ, a prayer about Jesus. The different mysteries that we meditate on is not about Mary primarily, but about the mysteries of the life of Christ and how Mary, in one way or another, has become part of it by divine election when God chose her to be the mother of the Son of God. And when you come here to Lourdes, the first thing you will really experience is the intensity and vibrancy of the praying of the Holy Rosary every night there is a procession. All people from different countries, the rosary being prayed in at least 10 languages every night. And here in our group, we were given the chance to pray the Holy Rosary, at least a portion of it in our local language, Tagalog, Filipino. Let us pray the rosary because it is a prayer that connects us to Jesus himself, through Mary. The Holy Rosary is a family prayer. The beads remind us of each member of the family. And there is a thread or a rope 
that binds us together with one another. The Holy Rosary is also our lifeline to heaven. We are not just connected among ourselves, but the Holy Rosary also connects us with the Lord. His mysteries or the mysteries of His life are connected and even sanctify our lives, the different phases, experiences of our lives. There's nothing human, as they say, that is not connected with the mystery of the life of Jesus. This is the very reason for the incarnation of Jesus. He became man like us in order to show us how to live as human beings and so that He may connect us with the divine life. The apparitions of Our Lady to Bernadette They were always connected with the Holy Rosary. And perhaps we might ask, why? I can only think of one reason. Because the Holy Rosary is about the life of Jesus and Mary. And how the Blessed Mother wishes that we can also surrender our lives to Jesus, the Divine Master, the Divine Healer, guided by our Mother, Mama Mary. The Holy Rosary is about the mysteries of the life of Jesus. And that tells us that our life, if it is surrendered to God, All the different mysteries, questions, dilemmas, problems that we go through in our life as a family. These are moments all the time to experience God's presence, God's accompaniment. The mysterious aspects of our life, if seen in the, in the eyes of faith, we will begin to understand. we will begin to make sense of it because our experiences as a family will be united with the journey of Jesus and Mary and Joseph. So for this final reflection here at the sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes, The message of Our Lady, this beautiful lady who appeared to Bernadette Subiru in 1958, her message is, is very simple, in fact. Her message is about family, about faith and hope in the Lord, in spite of all that we experience and go through in life. And what a beautiful way to end our visit here in Our Lady of Lourdes with the reading from the book of Job. It's a, it's a beautiful story of hope from tragedy after tragedy that Job experienced from being tested Everything was taken away from him, his family, his property, everything that he had. It was taken. They were taken from him. And now in our reading, we hear about Job recovering from all these tragedies that his family experienced. It is said in our first reading that the Lord provided again for Job. There were no more beautiful women in, in, in that place than the daughters of Job. Job again recovered everything that he lost. And Job lived for more than a hundred years, full years. of grace upon grace. Indeed, 
the Lord takes away, but the Lord also gives. The Lord provides. Let us carry this message as we continue with our pilgrimage. That God walks with us through thick and thin, through the peaks and valleys of our life. The Lord, as He has done so with Job, the Lord also will not forsake us. The Lord will not abandon us. He will show His face upon us. This is the experience of Job. This was the experience of Bernadette. And this could very well be our own experience too. Our Lady, the most beautiful, will always show her face upon us if we believe. The Lord Himself will show His face upon us. We don't need to have apparitions or visions because perhaps these are graces given to some or only to a few. But every day in the Eucharist, we see Jesus. We see the face and tenderness and love of Jesus in the Eucharist. In the Holy Rosary, we go back to His life and we unite our lives with His life. Our human life surrendered to the divine life that gives us salvation and hope. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us, for our families. We pray for healing. Our Lady of Lourdes, O beautiful Lady, O Immaculate Conception, guide us in our path, in our journey as a family. Lead us, O beautiful Mary, to Jesus, your Son, our Lord, our Redeemer, our Savior. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever.